these drivers. Here we go, coming down into turn number three, nearly 190 miles an hour. Hope you guys are on the edge of your seat. I'm sorry you had to pay for the whole thing because you only need the edge. Three wide up front. Bolton in the middle. The 40 something on, uh, 42 on the outside, the 21. Uh, Holt down on the inside. Coming across the, wow! Three wide, three wide. Too close to call. Oh, we got trouble. Trouble, 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 trouble. Somebody down on the apron. They're still three wide all the way back. That is looking at 23rd position. 23rd, they're running three wide all the way back to like 30th position. Well, there's not 30. It's Holt on the inside right there. That's not Holt. Hold on. Yeah, it is. Holt, I know I'm starting to learn some of you guys' paint schemes. Uh, you guys, the more you come around, the more I'll be able to uh, learn all your stuff and be able to call your shit correctly. But right now, the uh, Brandon Lowe's pushing Alex Holt in the Hobbit vehicle. He's going to take that lap from Bolton right there. Bolton on the outside being pushed by the 86 of Eric Brantley. Them guys able to tandem. They're not up front, so they can tandem to the point where uh, Bolton gets the lead. And then he's going to have to back off. Coming down the back stretch. Let's take a look. Let's go on board with somebody. There is the front pack. Let's go on board with somebody right now. Crank it up, crank it up, crank it up. Here's what it's like to run four inches off the bumper behind somebody at Talladega. Super Speedway is there three wide, 10 deep, ladies and gentlemen, three wide, 10 deep. That is a thing of beauty coming down the back stretch here live on Norgar TV. Twisted Mystery Race. Brand new programming going on. I hope everybody's enjoying it. But well, we got a great race going on here. Pack racing rules in Talladega. In the truck series. It was standing room only to get in here tonight. I wish people wouldn't get in and then leave. They take up a spot for everybody else. And I'm going to make a plead to iRacing right now as the drivers are getting ready to cross the stripe again. A plead to iRacing to give uh, race hosts the ability to boot out people that we know aren't coming back so we can fill up the fields. Okay, that's what I'm asking from iRacing right now, live on the air on Norgar TV. That would be a great thing. That way I don't have to start with 33. I could have started with 43, but I'm not allowed to boot anybody. As you see them coming three wide down the back, they're 20 deep now. Um, the Hobbit. They're taking the Hobbits to Isengard, and Isengard right across the start-finish line as Holt still continuing to lead around here at Talladega Speedway. Thank you. These guys starting to communicate with one another now. I hear them over the radios. Uh, they know they're in for the long haul. There's no use in starting a race just, just yet. And uh, riding right now is pretty much on most of these guys' minds. But the other thing that should be on their minds is their gas gauge. Because we've gone, uh, we've gone about, I don't know, 10, 12, 14 laps or something right now here under green flag conditions. And uh, these laps sucking down the fuel these guys only had. Uh, oh, and we got trouble. Big one, big one. Caution, caution. Holy shit, look at this. Everybody got the radios on? Finger fell, you work? That is, right, I don't know, that may good? be the new super big one. Holy shit, that was pretty cool. Let's take a look at it again. So we will start taking uh, driver numbers here shortly. Let's go to the chopper view and see where all the action started happening from the chopper view. Uh, riding along with. Ballantine in the 31 in fifth position. Let's see here. There he is. 
Valentin in the 31. Down on the inside of the 62, and the 20 gets loose. Net code error. Net code error. I see a net code error all over that iRacing. There's another thing I implore you, iRacing. There are the 20 on the outside, minding in his own business. Josh, um, Kuit, Kuit on the outside. Let's go to the rear view. These two and the 62 in the sucker hole. Uh, go to the rear chase view of Kuit. Riding along in 10th position and watch the 62. Actually, let's go on board with the 62 so you get a better view of it. Here's going to be net code all over this place. There is a 20 on the outside of the 62. And we've seen this repeatedly here at Norgar TV. I, I'm pretty sure they don't touch. Nope, they didn't touch. I mean, it was real close. But uh, that could have been arrow right there. And if that was arrow, you guys can call it however you want. If that was arrow, the 20 kind of came down and uh, sucked the air off the back spoiler. And that's going to start the chain reaction that's going to involve hey, one, multiple uh, vehicles. As everybody starts checking up. And we got a ah! Avoid the noise, tried to escape the track on the infield. He saw somebody eating Pizza Hut, got pissed, and tried to get over there. But he was unable to finish his task. And let's take another look at this amazing wreck from the blimp view. In larger screens, ladies and gentlemen, is here we go. We're going to slow it down for you. We got another question ready to go. I have not looked at chat yet. So uh, keep submitting your questions. Spam them. Spam your numbers for your questions. And the first one I see is the one we'll take right after we look at this replay. The next question, driver questions up. What an amazing wreck. That was pretty cool. Caution flag number four of the night. And we're about halfway through. Okay. The front's beat up. These guys going to all be able to fix their trucks, so no big deal. All right, still have not looked at uh, chat yet. We're going to go to chat right now, so keep spamming the shit. Here we go. And the uh, lucky number is 21. 21, first one I see. 21, first one I see. The number 21 of Alex Holt. Alex Holt. Did we ask Holt a question already? I don't think we did. No, he's driving the Hobbit truck. We didn't ask the Hobbit truck. All right. So the next question is for Holt. Let's uh, get some radio communication down uh, to his in-car. My sound guys are working on that right now. They're all drunk, so here we go. 21 truck, uh, Alex Holt, uh, you got a copy? Yep. Unfortunately for you, one of the racers race right now typed in chat your number, so here you go. Hero or zero, good luck. Who won the inaugural race at Homestead, Miami? Speedway in 1999. Was it Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, Bill Elliott, or Bobby Labonte? Oh, God. Uh, Bobby Labonte. I'm sorry, you're incorrect. And back to the freaking field you go. The correct answer was. I guess was... it was wrong. Yeah, I guess that was wrong. Like I gotta say, not even, not even a notification. Just go to the end of the line. Goodbye. <laughs> you're the weakest link. Goodbye. Answers. My guess is Elliot. Yeah, I think you Bill won it that year. No, uh, the correct answer was uh, Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart uh, won the first two races at Homestead, Miami, taking the race in 1999 and the year 2000. So Stewart also, on a side note, not listed here that I know personally, uh, 1999, the uh, rookie year of Stewart. So Stewart, in his rookie year, winning the last race of the season and again the very next year in 2000. Thanks for playing. Sorry, Mr. Hobbit. Back to the field you go. I appreciate uh, your cooperation.
This mystery racing is brutal. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mystery pack racing. Uh, I don't know. What am I calling this shit? What's the name of this? Guys, I've been drinking. I'm, I'm lucky I can even see straight right now. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the twisted rules. The twisted rules. Uh, let me ask you guys in chat right now. Uh, we're still under yellow flags. You guys in chat just want to take a uh, hands up, hands down. Um, you guys like, like the... Uh, like the new uh, format? If you do, say yes. If you do, say no. I'm not going to get offended either way. We're not going to do this all of the time. But uh, trying something new, trying to keep things fresh around here at Norgard TV. So uh, I look to you viewers for all the help that I can get. Uh, we got four resets tonight, four. If you can't get it done in four, then that's it. Yeah, just, just a note to all the drivers watching and all the view. This will not be every night. Uh, mystery races, we run a lot, but uh, this, uh, and we're gonna change, we're gonna change the ven the venues, like right to now, tonight, the questions are all NASCAR. One night, it may be questions on TV, it may be questions on movies, it may be questions on sports. Uh, I'll pick a theme and I'll go with it, and uh, you're at the mercy of the questions, and uh, we'll definitely do this again. But right now, your leader in first position is uh, Benjamin Waddell. Waddell in the number 42. Going to lead him down here as we see a lot of trucks behind the wall. But we still have right now on the lead lap, we still have... 17 trucks. 17 trucks on the lead lap, and we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, five trucks fighting for the lucky dog. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you iRacers right now before we go green, how many hosted races have you ever been in that there were five trucks a lead, uh, more than a one lap down fighting for a lucky dog still staying in it on lap number four, uh, 34? How many hosted races have you been in? where people actually fight for a lucky dog. I would say there's been a few, but not a lot. But we're gonna go green flag racing again here as the number 42, gonna lead them down here on lap number 35. I try to keep it fresh, I try to keep it new, I try to keep it unique here for you guys. Bumper humping time here on Norgar TV. Please guys, no more automotive intercourse. We do not need any more cautions for a while. We got a long way to go on lap number 36 of 65 here at Talladega Speedway live on Norgar TV and the 42 gets a great push from the number 29, 18 right behind him. The 29, James Ross on the inside. There on the outside, Justin Nicholson, Nicholson, or oh yeah, Nicholson, yeah. Here comes Johnny! I got your freaking name wrong because I'm seeing triple, but uh, it's Nick O'Son. Nick O'Son there in the 44, uh, in scored in position number two. The 42 continues to lead him around here at Talladega Speedway. Coming down into turn number one. Oh, three wide, and the 93 goes up high. Brantley checks up, and he's able to keep it straight. Now we have some guys in the back coming down the back stretch. Just listen to this. It's beautiful. That is a race fan's eargasm right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is an eargasm. Hearing those trucks come down at 190 miles an hour down the back stretch here at Talladega. We're gonna continue to watch with this view. I'm sitting here drinking my beer. I hope you're eating your sandwich. We got uh, everybody lining up right now, two by two. 15, 20, 30 deep. No, not 30. 15, 20 deep anyway. We got movement going around uh, around uh, position number 12. 42 continues to lead them around.
18 on the outside being pushed. Trying to make that outside line work here on lap number 38. Thank you all for tuning in here tonight at Norgar TV. If you're new here, hey, guess what? It's nice to meet you. I'm glad you joined. Thank you very much for hanging out. We got movement. Bolton dives it down to the inside. Coming off the outside. Coming down the try. Yeah, that's not try oval. It's just a big swooping turn down the front stretch. But the 29 still got a position as we get this great overhead shot of all the trucks up front. Great overhead shot as the 29 being pushed by the 27. And the 36 tucked up underneath the ass of the 27 getting a better push on the outside lane. Running down the back stretch. Taking Bolton and the 42 there. These guys looking to make it three wide way too early. Lap number 40. Looking back from the view of Don of Flinch, Flincham. Flincham there in third position in the number 27 vehicle. Driving for Virginia's Sima Racing League Silverado this week. He's getting passed up on the inside as Bolton tucks up underneath the ass of the number, I don't care, somebody. And he goes to the outside. That's the number 29. Uh, pardon me, I've been drinking. Coming down the back stretch. Look at these guys uh, on board telemetry. High speed down the back stretch, 195 miles an hour on lap number 40. Tires, hey, guess what? Tires here at this track don't mean shit. So if these guys didn't pit and they have no damage, they're running just as fast as the leaders. Looking back from Dylan C. Jones in seventh position in the truck number 13. Avoid the noise. Bunching him to the outside and that is gonna allow, now we're three wide, that's gonna allow the middle lane to move on through and Jones gonna have to fall in position behind the number 86 of Eric Brantley. Looking back there, there is the, uh, who's that? That's John Deere dude. The John Deere dude coming up on this dude looking to get underneath and run some. Uh, tandem laps. These guys can tandem back here. He's looking to hook. Oh, we got problems. Call. 86 Christ. in trouble. People flying through the air. Fellas, we have got a very, very okay. difficult official this week. So but, make sure uh, we're minding our views. 86, 86 in trouble on lap number 41. Uh, this is going to give me time to go take a leak and ask a question. So I'm happy for this caution. I've been drinking. Oh, wait. Beer's about empty. I might have to go get another one of those, too. But we'll get all that done and taken care of here under caution flags here at Talladega Speedway. Eric Brantley in trouble on number 40. Let's see what happens from him from the the uh, chopper view. The chopper view being brought to you by some drunk guy drinking Schlitz. Yep, he's up there drinking Schlitz. He had a 10 o'clock shadow. There's the 86 right behind the number 22 Noid vehicle. Running on the... Uh, uh, the outside lane, these guys just running and 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 running. And they hit the stripe and they're still running and 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 running. Come on, fucking something happened already. My camera guys suck absolutely hairy donkey balls. As we see the number 13 go up into the wall and Brantley stays in the middle, the Noid in the sucker hole, trying to fall in behind the number 36, but wants to get the side draft off the number one vehicle of Swindell and the 13 falls in back and we are still too goddamn slow to get through this replay so we're going to speed it up right now and see what the hell happened so I can go take a leap 86 on the back of the 22 coming down into turn number three I rewound it too freaking far and uh, 86 I don't know there you go that's what happened. I gotta go piss. Um, you guys get your numbers ready. Spam your number questions. Just spam them. And uh, we'll go to the blimp and take one more look at it. But spam your questions right now. And uh, keep spamming them until I'm done taking a leak. Come back and then we'll ask it. I want to see how many people are paying attention. How many people are awake here live on Norgar TV. And I'm sorry for all that information. But yeah, I'm... Uh, 
don't know. I'm a, I, I need a pit stop myself, ladies and gentlemen. I have no commercials, so I don't know what I'm going to do. But there we go. We're going to have about uh, eight trucks involved in that sucker. So we're going to head back up live after these guys have already taken pit stops. Bad thing about this format is, is we don't get to see pit stops. I can probably change that at some point. But just spam away. I will be back in a undetermined amount of time here. And uh, I'll be right back. And the first one I see, that's what we'll use. We'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and the uh, first one I see is number 31. So 31 is going to be the uh, doomsday for him, or maybe not. We'll see. Valentine, 31 in the M&M's truck. Did we already? No, we didn't ask him already. We did not ask him, so he'll get the next question. Or did we ask him already? Somebody to say yes or no. Hurry. He's coming down for pit stops. Valentine one lap down. Well, yeah, we did. No, we didn't. So to the next, the next number I see is the number ten. The number ten uh, gonna get asked. This is live TV, people, and there is no number ten. So the next one I see is uh, thirty-one, and that's yeah. You know, and we already did that. Eighteen, we already did that, and we got a wreck. We got a wreck on the back stretch. Give me another number, guys. Hurry up. 21. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alex Holt. We already asked him. 36. Oh, my gosh. You guys are as drunk as I want to be. Brandon Lowe's. All right. There we go. Brandon Lowe's. This is Norgar in the booth. You got a copy? Gotcha. All right, man. Uh, here's your question. 2004. Next... NASCAR Nextel Cup, Ray Bestis, Rookie of the Year. Casey Kane didn't win a race in his rookie year. How many times did he finish second? Was it two, three, four, or five? You know, you're talking to a Casey Kane fan right now. Uh, five times. And the correct answer is correct, five. What number of the vehicle would you like to see to go to the end of the line? Congratulations. Give me a number of a driver real fast. Yes, you got it right. Oh, shit, come on. Come on up, Dave. I'm good now. What is going on here with my sound? All right.
All right, drivers, my uh, my thing broke, and uh, you did get the answer correct, and somebody was supposed to go to the end of the line. I apologize, but you guys are doubled up, so uh, we're not going to implement the uh, EOL rule this time around, but congratulations on answering that question correct. I'm uh, here doing 30 things at once, and uh, yeah, I missed out on that, so that's my bad, and uh, we're not going to be able to see a truck go to the end of the line, so uh, a lot of things weird happen on live uh, TV, and I lost my button there for some reason, but the 27 going to lead them down this time around, and uh, I apologize for messing up the rules, but hey, it's twisted rules, anything can happen. So here we go. It's time to go bumper humping again live on Norgar TV. We got about uh, 20 to go. 20 to go before we get to the end of this sucker. And I thank you all for tuning in here tonight. A lot of viewers in the chat participating. I appreciate it. Bumper humping time again on Nordgar TV live at Talladega green Speedway. Flag. Green, 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 green. The 27. Uh, Flincham going to lead them around, and the 13 on the outside, the 60, sorry, the 69, Jared Aki, 86 of Eric Brantley there in the top five as well. These guys under pack racing rules, we've lost a lot of trucks here tonight. But we've gained a lot of viewers and a lot of friends. Thank you and hello for hanging out here tonight as we see the outside lane working its magic right now as the 44 being pushed by the 13. Coming through turn number three. They had the edge. They lost it. Another lead change going on here. And the 27 into the back of the 44, unable to push him anymore. Not allowed anymore, and he's going to go to the back, and now he's going to fall to the sucker hole. The 44 doesn't want to lose him as a partner, but he's going to end up losing the lead over it because the 86 and the 33 down on the lower lane getting the run coming through the middle of four, coming out of four right now, ready to come down the front stretch. Eric Brantley out to the front in the number 86. Being pushed another lead change here tonight live on Norgar TV. But the 44 on the outside, that was a close one. I don't know who won that. That was, wow. That was amazing right there. Brantley still got the edge down, but the 44 made a run for it there at the end. Let's take another camera view, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Forty-two into the wall, twenty-nine down into the thirty-one. Losing momentum after that vicious hit, they're able to save it. Oh my gosh! Three wide. I don't know how many back. Four wide coming down into turn number one. They all settle out as they come through the middle of one, but there's still three wide up here around position number 15. The 44 into the sucker hole, losing the lead. Back to 15th position in less than half a lap here at Talladega Speedway. Holy shit. I think I just had a Nordgasm, and oh no, oh no. The 44 into the back of the 86. The 31 got a check up, and... That check it up is going to cause problems for the back Causes out. 10 trucks. 
Caution flag number. Oh, and we got wrecking going on up front. Right, but you had a couple laps by yourself there. How to 